But you are a fan of the Twilight Zone. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Which is your favorite episode? Terrence. My favorite episode of Twilight Zone probably, would probably be um, uh, uh, The Incredible World of Horace, Horace Ford. And that's, that's, that's one of the hour long episodes. Oh. And, and now, is, is this the one? Because we already discussed this. Is this the one where his wife is a mean person? His his wife, nah, his wife, nah, his wife was cool. Cool, she just, okay. She, she didn't she didn't understand him, and she was trying to figure out why he still flashed back to his childhood so much. Mm -hmm. He always wanted to talk about when he was nine, ten years old. Him and his mom, his wife and his mom used to be like, "Why you always talk about that?" And he would be at work just drifting off, and you know. And she was just trying to really make him just be a man, like get past that. So he had to go through this traumatizing flashback scenario from his childhood to break himself out of being locked in that mindset. But it is that's one of the episodes that really got me hooked on the Twilight Zone back, you know, back in the days. And um, but like it's cause you got most of the episodes are half hour episodes, but they had yes. one where they did our episode and that was I want, I want to say that was season four okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna lean on season four I want you to tell the people about that one that you trip off on I believe it's a bank teller at the <laughs> end. no no it, it might be a bank teller but all he wants to do is read yeah 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 that's the guy oh, was, okay um, yeah yeah that was, um, that was um, Burgess Meredith he played Rocky's trainer on Rocky uh, oh like, yeah, okay. What was the name? I think his name was Mickey. Uh, Mickey, Rocky. yeah, yeah, and, and Rocky, yeah, That's yeah. The same guy. You know, okay, guy tell me some. Back in the sixties, you know, back in the Twilight Zone, the black and white days. Mm. Yeah, he was a bank teller, and um, uh, he just wanted to read. All he liked to do was read, 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 read. But his wife was just, just <laughs> terrible, man. His wife was super <laughs> mean, and, and she just was hateful, man. Didn't want him to read and. She, she destroyed his books and she just messed his books all up. He just couldn't understand why she was so ugly towards him. And, um, you know, one day he, he was working at the bank and he went into the vault for something. And just by chance, when he went, see this, in the 60s, it was always the threat of um, one country dropping the bomb. You know, everybody was getting the bomb back in the day. So it was always just threatening the headlines of some country just uh, carried out nuclear war on America and vice versa. So in this particular episode, he walked in the vault and right when he walked in the vault, a foreign country just boom, they dropped the bomb. He survived because he was in the vault. So it served as like a bomb shelter for him. When he comes out of the, the, the vault, everything is destroyed. Everybody's dead. The, the, the buildings are crumbled. The cars are... And he just like, oh man, you know, he knows his wife is dead. So he just wandering around the city and then he stumbles up on the library. This guy gets to the library and he's like, he in heaven. Like he sees all these books and he don't even care that the world is destroyed no more because now he got all these books. And next scene they flash, this dude has organized all the books. You just see all the books just organized. And he's like, okay, I got January, February, he, he's just going down the line, just let, he got his whole life planned out. And right when he's getting ready to just get dig into it, he leans forward and his glasses fall off his head and his glasses hit the ground and just shot up into pieces. I don't know what kind of material those glasses were made out of, but they shattered into like a thousand pieces and he picked them up and they just crumbled in his hand and now he can't see. So he was just like, that's not fair. <laughs> because he was like because he was right it wasn't fat because he was a good dude so life just dealt him but that's what made the twilight zone so cold because you was not guaranteed a happy ending in the twilight zone bro. It right. could, you could get a happy ending it might but you could be the greatest guy in the world man and just get the rawest deal in the world so this guy glasses broke. He can't see. There's nobody else on the planet with him, and now he can't even do the one thing he loved. And then the credits rolled and it went off. That was his wife, Ghost, that did that. 
How cruel is that, man? Man. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no way to go get no glasses. You can't go to the optometrist. And so, I mean, he just. Right. Um, you, you just done deal, guy. You done and, and, and you're still alive. So that's just the weird, um, the, 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 the harsh cruelty of life, man, just exemplified in a lot of those episodes. You know, it, it teaches you a lesson. It's like, man, this, Things ain't always fair, man. <laughs> right. In my favorite episode, I already told you this one with the piano. And that didn't end with a happy ending neither. That humble dude. So it's like, hey, you better treat people the way you want to be treated out here. Yeah, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, that was a sinister episode, man. That dude. Yeah, he, <laughs> it backfired on his behind. Heck yeah. It's like, oh, I'm scared. Oh. Yeah, like, right. dude. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it, it play, the piano plays your song. Your song, mm -hmm. is, song was the song of truth about how you, you know, you putting up a face in the front. But when that piano starts playing, oh, you gonna tell what's really going on inside you? Either. And did you like Outer Limits or Night Gallery? I never watched either one though. You know, I I I, I, I tried to watch Outer Limits. I couldn't get into it. I never watched Night Gallery. But I I I'm, I'm more um, Twilight Zone, and occasionally, um, you know, I mess with Alfred Hitchcock. But, Hitchcock, um, all right. But I, I never got into Outer Limits.